Hey everybody, this is Jason from Odd Audio. I just wanted to share a really handy tech tip that's uh, something I learned, credit where credit is due, to Mr. Carlson's lab. Um, this is how to determine the outside foil side on a non-polar capacitor, specifically like film caps or paper caps, although we don't use those much anymore. Um, but the it used to be that, especially in tube gear, the outer foil side of the cap would be marked with a line or a dot. And it doesn't indicate polarity because they're non-polar capacitors. But what it indicates is which side the lead is connected to the layer of foil or paper or whatever the, the case may be uh, that is wrapped around the outside of the capacitor and can act as a shield. So you either, if it's a capacitor that's across a positive and the ground, well, you connect the foil side to the ground. Or if it's in a circuit where there's, it isn't connected to a ground, you put it to the lower impedance side of the circuit. Or uh, the easiest way to say that is if there's a signal going through, uh, you want the foil side to be where the signal is coming in. So how do you determine that on a modern capacitor where they don't mark it? Because it's still an important thing in terms of uh, minimizing noise and interference in a circuit. And it's if you really want to be careful about how you assemble stuff, especially getting into the higher end, uh, you want to make sure that you got it right. So you need an oscilloscope. That's the complicated part of this. But once you have one of those, you're going to set it fairly low. Like I've got it set 2 millivolts AC and a, a fairly high time base, so 50 milliseconds. And what you do is you connect your probe to one side and you connect your ground strap lead whatever to the other side and then you hold the capacitor between your fingers like this without touching the leads and what will happen is all of a sudden you get a waveform so you see take note of the size of that that's about mm, maybe one and a half uh, divisions on the scale so now what we're going to do is we're going to flip the leads. So just put it to the other side. And like a so. Sorry here. Okay, so now it's flipped to the other side. And let's do it again. Holy crow, look how much bigger it is. So that's telling you what you need to know. Sorry, my probe's got a little bit of a poor connection. Um, so here. You can see that's about uh, three, a little over three divisions. So what I've just determined is that this is not the foil side. You want the probe to be connected to the non-foil side and the ground connected to the foil side. And that's where you're going to get the least amount of interference. And once you figure that out, well, ta-da, it's gone down. Now you know that is your foil side. So then you can mark it. And never assume that the markings on the cap itself are going to tell you anything. I've had, you can have 10 of these caps and they'll all flip flop from one side to the other. The markings don't indicate anything. So just because you test one, you think, okay, well, it's it's all going to be on this side. No, they're, they're totally different. You have to test every single cap to determine that. But anyway, that's a... Again, credit where credit's due to Mr. Carlson's lab for teaching me that trick, and it's come in very handy when I'm building stuff.